Hey, Professor Hendricks here, and today I'd like to talk about basic data types in Python. As you can see here, I've defined five variables using the equal sign. The variable names can be anything you want. I'm using the first letter of the data type just for simplicity. So the five data types include three numeric data types, and those are ints, floats, and complex. Ints are going to be whole numbers, integers, like 7, 5, negative 3. Floats are floating point numbers, numbers that have a decimal number. So for example, 3.14159 and so on. Complex numbers have an imaginary component. So square root of negative one. And so that's gonna be numbers like five plus seven i and anything that has a complex component or an imaginary component. And as a side note, mathematicians often use i to refer to the square root of negative one but in electrical engineering, j is often used to refer to the square root of negative 1, and that's what's used in Python. Lastly are the other two non-numerical data types. There's booleans and strings. Booleans take on a true or false value. Strings are a series of characters like ACGT, or just a word or a name, or so any of your protein sequences or any sequences can be represented by strings. Now in this particular case, I've used functions int, float, complex, bool, and str to create these variables. And when I do so, all of these variables have a certain zeroness to them. And so this is just the whole int number zero, or for floating points at 0, 0.0, for complex at zero times j, j being the square root of negative one. So all of these have the mathematical value of zero, and operators that are applied to them may behave a little bit differently. In the case of booleans, the default value is false. And in the case of strings, the default value is the empty string. I like to think of it as just two pairs of single quotes with nothing in between, like a nothing burger on a single quote bun. We don't need to use these particular variables to define them. We could have used x equals five and y equals seven, in this case, specifically and directly defining variables using a value that we want to assign to them. And we can add these numbers, of course, and subtract and get another int out of it. So in other words, if I, if I were to do something like this and I check the type of x is indeed int as expected as with y, and it's probably no surprise that their sum is also of type int. However, that's not always the case. I can use operators in different ways. So for example, if I say z equals x divided by y, then I get this decimal expansion because seven does not evenly divide five. And so therefore, this takes on a data type of float. And that's true whether or not the two int ints evenly divide each other. For example, I could say x equals eight and y equals two and still define x over y to be equal to z and then check that data type and it's still float, even though it's a value of 4.0, it's essentially four, and they've evenly divided each other. So another point is data types are really important because how different variables interact through operators can be very different or even worst case undefined if they're not the right data type. Here, let me clear my screen. And so if I defined x equals five, and then y equals the string containing the number seven, so this is different from the number seven. It's a character string, a single quoted character string that contains one alphanumeric character. In this case, the one that corresponds to the number seven. If I attempt to add these together, I get an error because Python doesn't know whether you intended to add two ints or to use string concatenation on two strings. But if I, for example, were to convert using the same int function as before, convert that y to an int, then it works. And the reason is because these functions have two main properties. One, they can be used to initialize a variable to a certain data type using the default data type that has that zero quality to it, or they can also be used to convert from one data type to the other. Similarly, I could have said z is equal to str of x plus y. So in this case, y being a string, x being an int, I'm converting that int five to the string five, and I get the concatenation of five and seven, and I can confirm that that is indeed the string data type. 
And one more thing I want to point out is that if you were to use something like x is less than y, that gives an error because int and string. But, but if I did something like int of y, then that's true because now x being the int 5 and int of y being the number 7, this inequality is true. Well, I can actually assign this to a variable and confirm that b is indeed true. And the type of b is one of these Boolean variables, or bool. And therefore, we note two examples where you can take two variables of the same data type, in the case of ints, and divide them and get a float, or use this inequality operator to compare their value and get a bool. So the operators that we use can be used to combine together different data types or the same data type and get a completely new data type. And with that, I'll close this and I'll see you next time.